We first saw Leap Motion's crazy minority report style hand sensing controller back in 2012. There's been an explosion of development in the world of virtual reality since, and that's where Leap has been focusing, with hopes of working with manufacturers to bake their tech right into VR headsets. We're here at Leap HQ to check out their new Orion developer software, which they say is faster, more accurate, and much, much smarter. I got my hands. Caleb is going to give me an object. I'm doing basically very subtle pushing interactions. I can grab it. You'll hear a grab sound. So I'm going to take my both hands up, pinch with my right hand, pinch with my left hand, bring them together. And then if I let go with either, I'm going to make a block. So like right now, I guess I'm doing physical interaction. And then this is sort of like abstract inter interaction. And now we're going to let you do hierarchical interaction so you can build more shapes. That'll go like this. So I'm going to flip my left hand around. OK. And I'll get a little menu. And I can kind of hover over those. Uh, I can basically make these different shapes. So there's like a little tetrahedron. I can kind of we'll, uh, give you control over gravity. So that'll go like this. To do like a, just a tiny. It's very sensitive. And of course, you still have all your powers from before, so I can like be like, uh, <laughs> oh, was it, uh, what's it called? Uh, Hydukin? <laughs> to go with that, we'll bring the gravity back on. That's pretty cool. So, how does this experience differ from what people have? If, if someone's checked out the leap before, uh, how is this different? It, it's, it's really good at actually tracking things when it doesn't see them, which has actually turned out to be the most important thing, because it, it, it's, you know, people would say, like, can you have more, add more pixels or more frame rate? It actually turned out that most of the things that we really wanted to be able to do were basically uh, basically working in situations where you just you couldn't see things. And so we just had to be able to build a really, really smart system that could understand how people were trying to interact in virtual reality. Mm -hmm. The pinching, like uh, pinch gestures in general, are kind of tough, because it's like there's very little bits of finger that you don't always see very well. Getting that just, that's like just rock solid. And then we have a lot of these like arm huds where we basically can, you can pull in these interfaces that are attached to your hands and they're just like, they require no explanation and they just work 100% of the time. When you said that Orion is part software, part hardware, are you guys shipping new hardware or what is this hardware that you, that you mentioned? Uh, so we're shipping hardware to headset manufacturers so okay. they can start building it into the next generation of, of products. Mm -hmm. We're trying to focus on basically getting this stuff out there and kind of push, like getting people to really say like, okay, now that I have these types of systems, like what do I build? Mm -hmm. And you know, the stuff that we're showing today is really compelling, really interesting, but I don't think it's like the full depth of what can be made with these systems. Mm -hmm. So something like that we can't do that I would love to be able to do still is like have an object in my hand and kind of rotate it in the palm of my hand. Mm -hmm. Like I guess like one of those, you know, like the, the, the metal spheres or like, like a pencil that I could go between my fingers. Mm -hmm. And that's something that we want to like engage the community on and basically uh, give a lot more technical details and just conversations around like how should we do this kind of thing. Because mm -hmm. it's not clear, should it be us, should it be physics engine maker, should it be developers, like what is, what is the right solution for this? You just want to do all these nuanced things that you couldn't do with like sticks. And so like now that we can do that, like how do like just how far can we push it?